Welcome back. Western New York home to a lot of artistic talent. So Mike Randall is checking out a unique art show that celebrates local artists past and present. Long before he picked up his PhD in fine arts, Gerald Mead was an art lover. My mother was an artist and we always had artwork hanging in the house. Gerald's also a collector and what a collector he is. And this is actually just there's 33 pieces in here. So I own um, nearly 1600. A fraction of his collection can be seen currently at North Tonawanda's Carnegie Art Center. One of the older, oldest pieces is this one here, and it's by Frank Penfold. This dates back to 1883. These pieces are works of past presidents of the Buffalo Society of Artists. Artists no longer with us. The past past presidents. Past past <laughs> this year, the Buffalo Society of Artists celebrates 130 years. Why the Buffalo Society of Artists started in 1891 is that the president of the, at that time, the Albright Knox was called the Buffalo Fine Arts Academy, said that there's no art in Buffalo. And so the local artists sort of, I think, took a little umbrage at that. Gerald's collection features area artists like James Francis Brown, the society's first president, who left a surprise on the back of his painting. That there was another artwork on the back of it, who is, which is by Raphael Beck, who ironically is from uh, Lockport, and he's the person who designed the seal for the Pan American Exposition. The museum also showcases past presidents who are still very much alive, including Gerald Mead. This show runs through June 26th and the Buffalo Society of Artists also have two other exhibitions going on. All the details are available at buffalosocietyofartists.org. So it spans uh, literally 130 years of the presidencies, you know, from the very beginning to the very present. Gerald says over the years the organization embraced other disciplines as well, including printmakers and architects like George Carey. And George Carey is the person who designed the, um, the history um, museum, um, as well as some buildings in the Pan American Exposition. Whether you're an art lover like Gerald Mead or just a fan of area artists, you won't want to miss this special show. In North Tonawanda, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.